it was only recently that I had a kind of a transformation with regard to um, justice issues with regard to animals. I always grew up in a household that was very open to animals. We always had rabbits and chickens and birds and ducks and everything. But I can remember a few years ago, God rest him, when my dad was alive, we were upstate New York and we were coming home and we saw a calf in a, in a crate with its head sticking out. And my dad stopped the car and he said, that's how they make veal. And I said, what? And he explained to me and you know, I was, I was pretty touched by that. I, it, it really sunk in, but not as much at that time as it did later when I saw that billboard. I was riding down in this expressway in Queens and I saw a billboard. And on the billboard there was a picture of a puppy, this cute little puppy, and a picture of a little piglet, this adorable little pig. It said very simply, why love one, meaning the puppy, but eat the other, meaning the pig. It just like, boom, you know, it just hit me. And I, I said, oh my God, I couldn't, I couldn't drive anymore on the expressway. I had, to, I had to get off the next exit and I had to go down, this was in the evening, and I had to, I drove down a quiet residential street and uh, I cried. I broke down crying, I was just tears. You know, I'm eating this creature who, who is intelligent and, you know, who, who has a personality of sorts. I mean, I, I later did some reading on, on pigs and how intelligent they are and how, how affectionate, if for use of a better word, they can be, you know. Um, of course, it's a mystery. We use all these words, you know, with animals, but... You know, I, I know with the cats that I have that they, I, they have emotion, they have, they, they feel pain, you know. And they offer me consolation. When I'm hurting sometimes or I'm frustrated, my cat, one of my cats will come to me and just kind of sit there and lick me and he, he, he knows or she knows. You know, so this whole respect for the mystery of all of life opened the door for me. It made me more sensitized to you know, the hurt and the suffering and the plight of factory farm animals and, for that matter, all, of that, all animals in the animal kingdom. Recently, I was in a, a store in Flushing where they sell a lot of fish. I, was, I passed the fish area and then I bought some bananas and some vegetables and things. And then all of a sudden I hear, bang, 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 and I turned around. And they took a fish out of the tank. All these fish were crowded into this tank. They couldn't move. It was horrible to look at. And somebody bought a, a live fish, and you know, he took this giant sledgehammer and just kept on pounding it until it was lifeless. <laughs> I just was like, you know, it was like I relived that post, that billboard again. It was like this was this is a horror story. You know, I just felt it. I felt that hammer. A lot of emotions come into play when you come face to face with injustice. Anger. Um, you, you feel impassioned to want to do something. You want to make that which is wrong right. You know, you can't, you want to alleviate pain and suffering, you know, wherever it may be. And I find that if I can inspire people and motivate people to, to help be a champion of healing hope and justice, then I've done my job, you see. And if they can do the same, if they can inspire people to be champions of healing hope and justice, you know, it just goes on and on and on. I think we're here in the world. We all have a mission, but the mission, I think, is to make a difference in the life of others. And not just, I mean, when I say make a difference, make a difference, I tell people, to make a difference in the life of God's creation. God's created life. You know, I have three cats of my own that are all rescues. And I go out and I feed strays, and last week there was an injured one that was limping and had a broken femur. And we were able to rescue that cat and it had successful surgery and someone adopted her, you know. 
it was such a tremendously joyful thing to see that, to experience that rescue and to bring healing to this, to this creature. If you treat animals with kindness and gentleness and care, you will grow in deeper respect and care for yourself and for other human beings. I think we have to be sensitized to the dignity of life everywhere. No matter what that, whether it's a human, whether it's an animal, but the animals cannot speak on their own. We have, we have to be their, their advocate. Thank you.